Lombardi here for BevNet. We are here at, at the Nax convention in Atlanta. I'm here with Peter Dacey, the COO and co-founder of Tremino Protein Water. How are you doing today? Doing great, thank you. How's the convention going so far so for you? So far, it's been, it's been very good for us. A lot of traffic, a lot of interest in the brand. We're pretty excited. That's great. How has it changed from last year? What's been going on in, in the past year? Uh, it's been a big year for us, actually. Our, we, last year, we were mainly in Connecticut, Massachusetts. We've had a lot of expansion. We're in Texas. We're working our way down the East Coast now. Um, lots of distribution. In, our volumes probably increased about 400%. And uh, how does C-Source fit into your overall distribution strategy? How would you like to grow that category? It's one of the categories we're really trying to grow. We have a really nice presence in the supermarket uh, arena now, but to us, it's a lot about points of availability. So we want people to be able to buy it at their supermarket, but also see it and get it cold at the convenience stores. So points of availability that are cold, convenience is a big play for us. And it's, it sort of crosses several different categories. It's a protein uh, drink, but it's a water. How do you guys uh, fit into the coolers and different sections at the store? Yeah, it's a, it's a great question. And a lot of times uh, when we're pitching to a, a channel, they'll ask us where we fit. And mainly if, if a store has a functional cooler, we fit in there quite well. Near a buy, a coconut water, uh, drinks that have a little bit more functionality. We're not generally in the milk or where muscle milk might be, so we stay more on the functional set. And how are you sort of educating consumers about the product? Because it is pretty unique. There's not a whole lot of other protein waters out there that we're seeing. Yeah, it, it is. We do a lot of social media work, uh, but probably our main thing is events. We're at events, so if, if they're in the area, we'll go to a road race. We were at the Hartford Marathon recently, so we get out there, we sample the product, we let people try it. You know, it's interesting because people sometimes are a little hesitant. They are like, oh, protein, and then they taste it, and actually we find that they really like it. So, you know, being out, getting it in front of consumers, getting people to sample it, that's really one of the big ways we're pushing it. You guys have four SKUs at the moment, is that right? Yep, currently have four. Okay, anything new in the works or anything we can look forward to in the 2017? Yeah, we have some new flavors. Uh, we've actually been working on that with our, with our flavor chemists, so we're excited about a couple of new flavors, probably next year, though. Right now, we're, we're pretty comfortable with the four we have. Anything new with formulation, or what's the, where's the next step you can take the, uh, the drink? Yeah, that's an interesting point. So we are. I mean, I think there's some other degrees of functionality that we'll look at. Um, you know, for us, really, and our consumers, they're really looking for a drink that is, you know, it, the water component, because they like to hydrate, but the functionality. So we have protein, B vitamins. Extending that line a bit is something that we'd be looking to do. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for your time, Peter. Well, thank you. Appreciate it. Enjoy the rest of the show. Thank you very much.